Hello guys, Stephen Mendes here with the Stephen Mendes channel, the multi-topic channel that many of you have grown to love. In 2007, I was the purchaser of a Garmin 76 CX and a Garmin 76 CSX. And uh, I began on a journey to map Barbados. And at that time there was no map available anywhere for Barbados. And uh, I bought the MapWell software and uh, proceeded to use it on the old computers of the day to make my own map for my own use in my hiking expeditions. Now, the history of the whole thing is that these units here were not up to my overall vision of making a legacy map for hiking on the island. There were many requests at that time for maps to do hiking. Tourists came to the island and wanted to do their own hiking. At that time, it was not in my interest to make that map available because I was making too much money from leading these tourists personally on hiking expeditions. So I did not want them getting a GPS map and going uh, doing their own thing lest it uh, um, cut me out of a, of a job. Now all that has changed as the years have gone on. If you uh, search now online you will find that they have maps for Barbados from several different sources and of different quality. And of course I had to try them out in my GPS and by then I had gotten uh, the 64 S, note it here, 64S Garmin. And uh, what I found was that even though the speed and quality of the actual Garmin handheld was improved, the maps had in a lot of errors and uh, routing was almost impossible because they had uh, places um, that were being routed that you were not able to use. So if your um, Garmin was adjusted to route, say, for minimum distance, you found yourself in many cases confronted by a grass piece or a locked gate because those um, areas were actually indicated, I guess, based on the aerial photography on which the map was made, the satellite image. Those were considered to be um, entered as roads when, in fact, they were not so. So along came uh, my desire to um, uh, get a map that actually worked and I discovered the Open Street Map Project, OSM. And I became a contributor to the Open Street Map for free because I said to myself, let's get a routable map for the tourists so that when they buy the map, they can navigate around Barbados without encountering all this disturbance so that they think they're going and making progress and all of a sudden it's either a path and not a road at all or worse it's just a wall and there's actually no road to get through. So I improved the open uh, street map and naturally I asked myself the question how do I get the map that I am improving? Uh, so that brought me to this point where we're starting a new topic on the channel because as I googled and as I searched on YouTube it seems to be an area where nobody is offering really helpful videos to help the average person to either get their own map or be able to take a map from OpenStreetMaps, which is freely available, and get it onto their Garmin handheld. Now, my first attempt at doing this uh, by using uh, somebody else's 
uh, code which had already done the work uh, was quite impressive. I not only got the current map, current as of when they took it from the open street map, which was a couple of years ago, so it still had in errors, but um, at least I was able to get it onto my handhelds as well into the base camp, which is replace the map source as the more modern way to communicate with the new Garmin units. Because of my fascination with this idea, I went out and bought this, which is the ultimate in handheld hiking GPS devices. You are looking, dear friends, at the Garmin 66 ST. It's a little pricey, but it's an amazing animal. And I plan to use this in the realization of my ultimate dream. That is to develop a way that I can take, quickly take a modified OSM, open street map, and get it in a hurry onto this device so that as I make my own updates to the open street map project, I can benefit from them quickly in my handheld. The other thing that I wanted to do was I wanted to customize it. Uh, the, the, this is an amazing thing. Uh, you can get photos coming up um, that, that are GPS referenced so that you can actually see the area. I can actually enter instructions to come up that will advise hikers well, don't take this trail between these months because of this, that, and the next thing. So I can make my legacy to humanity after I stop hiking can be a hiking map that does all of this so that the tourists, long after I'm dead, can still come and hike the island with complete confidence knowing what trails are possible, what are not, and what kind of a hike they're going to get, whether it's going to be uphill, high elevation, all that sort of stuff. So dear friends, that sounds a bit ambitious, but if I live long enough, I will start to do it for the other Caribbean islands as well, so that we may have a complete Caribbean hiking guide, and you may be able to download it as one map and go and hike in any island. Well, whether we get to the end of that or whether we just do Barbados, I don't know, it depends on how long we live and what the conditions are like. But I'm going to make you, my subscribers and followers, part of the vision. Yes, you're going to be part of the vision. And you're going to follow my progress as I uh, try to make this happen. So it's a, it's a new direction that the channel is going and I don't know how I'm going to juggle it with all the other topics that I cover on the channel. But I just wanted to make this one this afternoon to see what the interest is because people may come looking for the channel now when they're searching for Garmin GPS, Open Street Map and uh, stuff to do with that. It seems to be a topic that doesn't have a whole lot of helpful videos that can help people realize it. But just think about it guys, a map that is moment by moment current with all the errors taken out and it's just a sh short and quick operation to get it broom out of the OpenStreetMap database and broom into your handheld. And the other aspect of it is that the one that I got, what bugged me about the one that I got is that the day-night behavior is not good. When we are hiking at night, we don't want to have that bright light in our face, but it seemed that the way that map was set up, it was that the houses and the house tops went black, but the streets and everything, the, the background land, remained at the same daytime color bright in your face as you're trying to hike at night and it did not behave in the way I wanted. So as mastery of the animal I am going to get 
the possibility of having a nice pretty map that behaves in the day and in the night as you would want it to behave. So dear friends, as you can see, it's a pretty ambitious project and the lack, the complete lack of easy to use software that you can just basically load on your computer and away you go with minimal instruction is not there. The map well has failed because it has not been updated over the years to deal with a lot of things that have changed and I tried map well and I am still having problems. I wrote to the map well people I don't even know if they're still in existence but I'll keep you updated on that as the weeks go by. If they should answer my email and answer my questions then it is possible that I might be able to get a newer version of the map well uh, which could save both me and you some of the time involved. But I'm not just sitting down doing nothing. I am learning how to do it the hard way using Java scripted um, software code that is free that the users are only too happy for us to use and report any bugs and problems back to them. So dear friend, down in the comments below, can you please let us know if you want to be part of this journey. Now, you know, many of my musician followers may say, oops, no, we don't want to be interested in that there. We want him to be doing more music. This guy is scattered all over the place. Well, unfortunately, life is too short to, to just do one thing. You have to do. This is a bunny that I'm following to see how far I can go. I will go down the rabbit hole and I will let you know what I find there at the bottom. Hopefully we can dispense this and still manage to give you what you've come to love on the Stephen Mendes channel. Thanks so much for viewing and I hope you will subscribe and give me your comments and feedback if you are already a hiker, a world hiker, or you already use Garmin gear, we love to hear from you. Your input could be invaluable in making the videos on this channel into a really helpful tool to the Garmin community who use their GPSs for whatever they use them for, fitness, hiking, just automobile routing, Whatever you want to do, we are going to help you realize your dream. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.